The Oscar goes to Whoopi Goldberg. No matter how cool everybody says they are, everybody wants one. Thank you. I don't think there's any war that compares to that one. Thank you so much. We do all love a gold star, you know. It makes us feel proud and that we've achieved something. The Academy was created in 1927. The first Oscars were given out in 1929. So there, there are many stories about how Oscar got his name. There were three people that always claimed they named it Oscar. The only thing we're sure about is it happened around 1935 about the seventh or eighth year of the Academy Awards, Sidney Skolsky, who was very famous, and he was a columnist who got very tired about writing about the gold statue of the Academy. And so he said that he named it Oscar after an old vaudeville joke in which Oscar was the joke at the end of the story. And he said he started calling it Oscar in his column. Well, also there was a lady named Margaret Herrick, who was the executive secretary of the Academy, and she claimed that she named it Oscar after an uncle of hers named Oscar. Betty Davis claimed she named it Oscar because the rear end of Oscar reminded her of her husband when he got out of the shower in the morning. One of the early meetings was to figure out what were they gonna give? Were they gonna give a plaque? Were they gonna give a scroll? And while they're talking about it, Cedric Gibbons, who was the main art director at MGM Studios, he was actually sketching what he thought would be a good design and it was the Oscar statuette and it was sculpted by George Stanley and it's the same design of the statuette that it is today. You got this crusader with a crusader sword standing on a can of film and the can of film has five spokes on it and those five spokes represent what were then the five branches of the Academy. They've added branches since then but those were original five. It's much heavier than I Imagined. The weight of it is, is very impressive in itself. It really has a solid core to it. But I think it adds to the power that the Oscar has. During the war years, they didn't have the materials to make a real Oscar, so they made them out of plaster, you know, light as air and everything. But then after the war, when those materials became available again, they went to actors and they gave them a regular Oscar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You would win an Oscar that night, but the next day the Academy would come and pick it up, and then it was out of your hands for like a week while they put the plate on it, because none of the Oscars given out have the names on it yet. Well, they started about 2009. They have this wonderful thing now at the official governor's ball after the Oscars. You can take your Oscar and take it over and stand in a little line, and they will make the plate there and attach it to your Academy Award. So you can just wait for like five minutes and get the Oscar. Besides the regular Oscars that we know that they give every year, the Academy's also been known to give a lot of special Oscars as well. In 1938, when Snow White came out, they gave a special Oscar to Walt Disney, and it was a big statuette and then the seven little ones. Edgar Bergen was this famous ventriloquist, and he had this dummy made of wood, Charlie McCarthy, and so they gave Edgar Bergen, an Oscar that had a mouth that moved for years. They gave the special juvenile award that they would give to people, but only once. Shirley Temple was the first, and then Mickey Rooney, Deanna Durbin, Judy Garland, Margaret O'Brien. Then they stopped doing that, and then they let, no matter what age you were, you competed with the adults. If you're honored with an Oscar, you have won indeed one of the great prizes, because it's so difficult to win for so many reasons. And if it all comes together at the same time, you've really accomplished something. And it's so hard making movies and to have them validated that way. Some of the most wonderful memories that I have. I'd like to dedicate this to the people of Nogal. It's a great moment, it's like that. And I'm very lucky, I'm very aware that I'm very lucky being blessed with four nominations. Uh, I think that with each one I say, I don't care if I win or lose, you're dipping my Oscar in gold again every time you nominate me. It's your moment. And there aren't that many moments that people aspire to. You know, because everybody tries to act like, yeah, it's not a big deal, it's a huge deal. I'm so proud to be here, I'm proud to be an actor, and I'm gonna keep on acting, and thank you so much.